state and, and state that Playboy um, encourages uh, that type of behavior or um, Trump's behavior, uh, I would take. I would say that really that's um, an individual who doesn't necessarily really understand the brand's philosophy. Then what is the philosophy? Because again, for someone who doesn't know, they could look and say, I've watched videos, I've seen dozens of people in that pool, in that grotto. Your father lived with several women at a time. So for people who don't know, explain to us the brand's philosophy, because if it is so different, it deserves to be separated from this awful brand that Hollywood is getting right now. I could not agree with you more. I don't think that this is actually an issue that just pertains to Hollywood. I think that this is an institutional issue that exists in D.C. as, uh, as uh, well as other um, uh, entertainment uh, and, and really other fields. But uh, the, the detachment is um, consent. Uh, it, when I take a step back and uh, look at my dad's life and other people's lives um, uh, that have uh, you know, lived a, uh, a healthy um, uh, attitude when, it, when it's come to sex, um, it really comes down to individuals who are um, consenting uh, in front of or behind closed doors. And my dad, uh, as well as the brand, have never advocated for anything else. You know, in one of your tweets that I noticed, you say, Weinstein and Trump are personality proof points that masculinity is in a state of crisis. It's a yes. surprise to see a man say something like this. And when people realize it's you and your name, they're saying, wow. So please explain I it to me. I think that's the issue. I, the fact I that people too. are surprised to see a, a, a man speak up is a ridiculous notion. I think that we all have a responsibility to speak up, and the reality is, is that's how the tides change. And what do you think has to change? Because in terms of Harvey Weinstein, does it surprise you that suddenly Hollywood is shocked, offended, distancing themselves, and others inside of Hollywood are saying, you've got to be kidding me. This was an open secret, and absolutely everyone knew it. I mean, you saw sitcoms make jokes about refusing sex with Harvey Weinstein. At the Oscars, they made jokes about it. And... Clearly, this isn't funny now that we're sitting here with allegations of sexual assault and rape. I agree. And I think that that is uh, disgusting and something that we should collectively take a step back from and say, how can we make sure that this never happens again? How is, how is it that um, something was so accepted that uh, one could go on live television and uh, laugh about it when it was still happening? Uh, that should cause us all to take a step back and say, this is an issue that uh, seeps further than any of us really could have imagined. And, and I think the more that we can encourage each other to speak about it and uh, support the victims, uh, the better off we'll be. Then is the Weinstein issue and the broader one about power or is it about sex? Because sex is something that the Playboy brand knows a whole lot about. But as I sure. look deeper into this Weinstein issue, it really seems to be about power. In this case, I think it's both. Um, and in this case, meaning the Weinstein issue, I think it pertains to power and um, using uh, sex as a tool. Um, uh, I think that uh, one could draw comparisons to the comments that Trump made on the campaign trail with um, uh, seemingly and very uh, in a coy manner talking about how sexual assault is not a big deal. Um, but I think, you know, the, uh, the underlining factor here is an abuse of power, and that is really what I think exists uh, not just in Hollywood, but also in Washington, D.C., and uh, in other industries around the world, and, and that's worth addressing. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.